I have a beautiful Arbor guitar. Um, really nice uh, <clears throat> maple uh, laminate top and uh, orange strings. Brought to me by a customer and uh, complaining about the string action, the uh, vibrato bar. Uh, was not included in the purchase, so we're gonna have to find him a, a vibrato bar that'll fit this. Um, I have a spare one here that I keep on hand because it fits in most uh, uh, vibrato bars. Uh, this is a small thread on this and it allows me to uh, work with the whammy bar without uh, needing to have the original one. However, um, we're gonna try and get him uh, a new one for that. String action at the 12th fret is roughly around 9 uh, 64 of an inch, so I'm going to take care of that. The saddles are completely cattywampus. They are not matching the radius of the neck. I haven't plugged the guitar in yet. I don't know if the electronics are working correctly. And we're going to put a set of Ernie Ball regular stinkies on here. These are 10 to uh, 46. Uh, they're the guitar strings that I use on most of my electric guitars. This low E string here, you'll notice that there's only one winding around that. We'll get all this stuff set up. I'm going to tear into this thing, get these ugly orange strings off of it, uh, clean it up, and uh, we'll get going. Oh, by the way, hit the subscribe button down here. We shoot a little bit of the neck uh, before we clean it and you can kind of get an idea of how dirty this fretboard is and the frets are very well oxidized and they're literally kind of sticky to the touch um, so we're gonna clean these up make those uh, feel a whole lot better when you're fretting notes there's a look at the fretboard before and here's a look after the fretboard is all cleaned and the frets are polished and this is what your frets should look like on your guitar. Something I noticed about this uh, guitar uh, initially, I think this thing, uh, the string gauge on this was really heavy. Um, they felt like maybe 11s or I don't know, 12s. I didn't put a micrometer on there to check. However, uh, looking at the guitar in its initial inspection, it had a uh, whoop de whoop banana neck and having pulled the strings off of it now it contains a, a back bow the guitar is bowed down like this so we'll loosen the truss rod a bit and get that leveled off i went ahead and polished these without leveling the fretboard that's not that important i didn't do a fret crown or a uh, fret level on this so uh, i've cleaned up the body of the guitar you can see now that it's nice and shiny and has a new uh, personality cleaned up the headstock looking real good so uh, now i can touch this guitar without getting poisoned so we've gotten the neck all leveled up uh, with our neck leveling tool that allows me to make sure that the fretboard is perfectly flat there it is right there bam no rocking and no big swoop in the middle um, so we're ready to throw some strings on this and begin the process of getting our string action, neck relief, intonation, and neck radius matched perfectly so this thing plays like a dream. So here's another detail about this guitar that I've noticed. Uh, you notice that gap right there where the neck meets the body? Um, I don't know if these screws have been loosened, but this is something that will cause the action to be extremely high and the neck angle to be wrong. Um, it will certainly mess up intonation on the guitar and make the string action almost impossible uh, to set up correctly. So there's a nice big gap right there and we're going to see if we can't fix that and get that correct tightened down um, i don't know if someone's put a shim in there but uh, given what i'm seeing with the string action as it is as with many guitars they're all loose we're gonna have to pull this off of here and tighten it down no big deal if you want to know why your output jack yes it's an output jack comes loose all the time it's because most guitar manufacturers don't use a lock washer this has to be on here for that nut to stay tight so um, if you're 
nut on your um, output jack is coming loose uh, on a consistent basis, uh, number one, don't try and tighten it uh, because you'll just spin this thing and you'll break the wires off. This one, fortunately, wasn't broken, but take it apart. Go get yourself a lock washer for about 0.5 cents at a hardware store and put it on the inside of the uh, output jack and it will stay uh, tight from there on out. There you go. Simple fix. It costs you about a half a penny and five minutes. Uh, I'll give you a little demo of this guitar. Uh, I think I got some overdrive going on on this channel. And uh, yet to uh, order a uh, <clears throat> tremolo bar for this he bought the guitar and it didn't come with the tremolo so we'll get that coming for him and we'll get it back in his hands he's on vacation for a week so I'm gonna use this uh, during my guitar lessons this week and just uh, run it through the gamut of uh, playing and seeing how it holds tune it seems to be doing all right with bending notes holding tune real well uh, right now Peace. 